viral video in the making. Hey guys, ASMR. <coughs> Are you ready to enter? Thumbnail. Oh, Jake, this is a new thumbnail. Ready? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Your boy Jay Flex. It's Princess. And together we are siblings. React. 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 Every single time. Siblings. React. <laughs> siblings. React. She's on her hair. She's feeling herself. She wants to sing all of a sudden. Yep. And um, I just have to deal with it. <laughs> it's her world and I'm living in it. It's true. Guys, um, today we're going to react to Bill Burr, White versus Black Athletes and H, man. Um, obviously, we're athletes ourselves, so this is gonna be very interesting. I'm a black. I'm a black. Have you have you asked this on your channel? Yeah. Okay, but it's gonna be the first time we've read this together, so uh, we're gonna see each other's live actions, both being athletes in the past. So it's gonna be an interesting one, guys. And uh, with that being said, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get straight into the video. Let's go. In the stands. I mean, that's that's just like what's entertainment for me now. You know, I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happens in sports. You know. Like once every four or five years, you know, that like some 50, 55 year old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport, you know, and it always goes down the same way, right? There's always like three white dudes and the one white dude in the middle, he's always like the guy with like the theory, you know, he's always, you know, it seems these, uh, these African-American athletes, they, uh, they seem to have this, uh, this quick twitch uh, muscle fiber, you know, there's a uh, slow twitch and there's uh, this quick twitch. And the second the dude says that, like the other two white dudes start like sliding on a frame, like, right. okay, this guy gets fired. <laughs> By the way, just middle, quickly, just... yeah, this is this is so true. What? Like what you're saying. Um, well, at least from a biological standpoint, I mean, some some people was commenting in my conversation on the video I did it first time, saying mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of truth to the black athletes being more genetically advanced when it comes to a lot of athletic stuff. I can believe that. But even from a personal experience level, anecdotal experience level, like even me in football, I've yeah. definitely felt. <laughs> You know, yeah. the power of the blacks, <laughs> you know, being a black man the myself. I have blacks. definitely had people They're come up to me yeah. and say, wow, like, I've, you're Felt. just so fast, you're so strong. And just like, oh, I'm black. Chill, chill, dude. Yeah. yeah. Black. <laughs> and I know you, I know you, well, you got that as well. Yeah. Right? I think even in, <clears throat> in sports day in primary school, oh, damn. like, I, I mean, I was always winning all the events and stuff. Like, right. it was kind of. So this is from young. This, this is from birth. Genetically, <laughs> I was just winning all the events because we, we went fun. to a predominantly white school guys like right right yeah yeah we stood out <laughs> we stood out yeah it we was like it was like two black people in my class and the two black people were dominating a lot of yeah. the it was it's, it's Bro, literally remember yeah, and like he was the fastest he was the fastest right. guy in our whole year that was your guy yeah no no that wasn't funny that was that was your guy no <laughs> he anyway this black boy he was the first guy in the whole year man he was so fast like right. it was just always black people and and well, obviously was <clears throat> obviously yes it could be a coincidence but he was literally like one of how many black guys there in your a, year guys so i mean there was no how old. many coincidences right exactly <laughs> but yeah yeah that's that's a lot of truth to that man like hell bent on getting fired you know he's just he starts like bringing up slavery and evidently they were reading the strongest man with the strongest woman and that quick twitch <laughs> And literally 20 minutes later, that dude's on TV, he's like fired, right? He's crying, his family's standing there, he's got like a box of shit from his desk with like an Emmy sticking out. He's like, I don't know what I said, I was just talking about the quick twitch and the slow twitch. And I was, wasn't just trying to make a point. That's tough. That is tough. No, I love that. I love seeing people mess up their careers like that. It's just funny to me. Plus, I gotta admit, as a white dude, on some level, I have to believe in that theory because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? <laughs> I can't even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude has like his nuts in his face. <laughs> Fucking that, That's a mad vision. Just sitting at home like, for the love of God, tackle the guy. Jesus Christ, get out of the way. Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? You know you're going to be two on nuts? Sports Center. Just get two out nuts, of the way. Yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What does he mean by that? What do you mean by that? No, what does he mean I by that? I know what he means by that, but what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Well, it's obvious what he, I mean by that. It's what he means by that. No, genuinely, explain. Just, okay, so, <laughs> how do I explain this to my sister? Um, So, men just have something in their genitals um, that's a part of their reproductive system, um, and they have two of them, 
And if you kick it really hard, which you shouldn't do, I wouldn't recommend anyone out there to do that because it will be the most excruciating pain, more painful than pregnancy, actually. That's confirmed. Um, it's the most painful experience you could ever experience and it's called having two balls, AKA two nut sacks, two testicles, princess. Is <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but I didn't think they called it nuts. Yeah, that's yeah. You've never heard that before. That's great. Actually, it's great no. that you've never heard that before. That's that's good. That's good. That's great. Um, because I now you I know. thought he was talking about something else. Didn't mm, what did you? I thought. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? I don't know. I thought like because you know how there's a stereotype that black people have like. Oh, you what? A big penis. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. he was trying to say, like, oh... Oh, no, no, he wasn't talking black. about that. He was, he was just talking about, you know, when you're, like, some... Let's say an athlete, was, let's say you're a netball player. Yeah. Let's say the goal shooter jumps so high up for the shot and then she just smacks you with her area. Yeah. And just replace that girl with a boy, it will be them smacking you in the face with their but area. But why do you call it nuts, though? Some people call it sometimes, isn't it? I mean, you guys comment down below. Am I lying? Let me know. Even you guys from yeah, America, I from all over. I believe you, but like, I just didn't know that that's what people call it. I just, so. Jesus Christ, get out of the way! No, no. Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? Right. You know you're gonna be on Sports Center. Just get out of the way. Replays. Dude, I'm telling you, there's got to be something to that theory. I saw this show one time on Runaway Slaves. It's one of the most amazing programs <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Dude, when you ran away as a slave, you just didn't run to the end of the driveway and be like, ah, eh, fuck that job, just start walking down the street. Dude, you had to, like, run through whole states. There's dogs chasing you, you're hurtling shit, you're swimming. Those were the first fucking triathletes. <laughs> oh, so and there was sure. nobody helping them out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, come on, man, two more states, you're in Ohio. <laughs> Suck it up, you're looking good, looking good. Yo, real quick, real quick, runaway slaves. That sounds mad. I feel like we need to check that out. I think that would be, I, whether that's on camera or off camera, we need to check that out. No, I, sh I mean, if, if he's describing it like that, I would love to see you know slaves it's running. Not the Olympics. <laughs> Triathlete. And there was nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, "Come on, man, two more states, you're in Ohio. Suck it up. You're looking good. Looking good." You are on your own. Is it any wonder? 250, 300 years of that shit, and then I'm gonna D you up in gym class? It ain't happening. I come from hundreds of years of alcoholics. I got like half a liver, you know what I mean? It's just. That's a big, that's a big problem. You know what's funny to me about that stuff? You can't even, like, you know, I always say, you know, that, that theory's crazy, but it's just like you can't even bring up how well black people do, are doing in sports. Everybody gets all weird about it, which I don't understand because it's like a compliment, you know? Like, feel how weird it is right now. You know, I just brought that shit up. Like, I'm saying silent. something good, Ooh. right? I said, I saw a coach get in trouble for that shit. Like, his team was like 0-6 or something. They just couldn't win. And every week, the press was just getting on him more and more and more, right? And the dude, he was just like flustered. And he had like a moment of honesty. They were like, why can't you guys win a game? He's like, oh, you know, oh, the offense isn't getting it done. You know, defense... You know, like too slow, and it just run up. Tell me, we gotta get some more black guys in this team. And, I'm you, just got... and immediately, everybody's like, what? 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 Everyone started freaking out like they had no idea what this dude was talking about. <laughs> it's like, are you watching Sports Center, or do you see the Olympics? Like, I love the hundred meter dash, right? There's always, there's always like, like, like nine black dudes and that that one token white guy in like lane eight. And I'm just sitting there going, come on, man, one time. Just one time, just, just win the bronze, just do what you got to do. The white dude always stays with him to, like, the first turn, then he, like, fucking blows out his hand. Those other eight black dudes are like... Pfft. Where's that white dude the next Olympics? He's, like, up in the broadcast booth, his career's over. He's, where, he's like, a commentator. Yeah, it's going to be a great race. Still can't feel my fucking toes, but I'm telling you. No, I don't get it. It's like a compliment. We're saying you, you, you're fast. That's a good thing, right? People start all freaking out. Oh, you're acting like that's all we can do. You're saying we can't be scientists. No, we're not. All we're saying is if there was a race through the microscopes, you fuckers would win. <laughs> we're just saying that you're fast. 
<clears throat> at first, your lap pole would be flapping in the wind. I get there like three minutes later, all cramped up. What are you looking at, bacteria? No, you go first. You just go first. Jesus Christ. It was a Volvo. The guy ran by a Volvo in street shoes. I've never seen that before in my life. No, I, I get into those arguments all the time. Okay. All the time. Friends of mine will be like, well, how come anytime a black athlete does something, they say it's an athletic move. Anytime a white athlete does it, they say it's an intelligent move. And it's like, well, f fair enough, man. It just, just depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? But if you take off from the foul line, jump over nine other dudes and throw the shit down, <laughs> those other nine guys aren't standing there like, fuck, why didn't I think of that shit? <laughs> I've never seen that shit before, man. Here I am, man. trembling around, guys. I think that's some superhero yeah, this shit. Is shit, like a cake flapping in the wind with a big S on your chest. Big <laughs> S. Superman. I'm talk. telling you, man, that, that's the funny thing about Hitler. My transition. Just let me finish. Let, let me work my way. Let me work my I way forgot this idea. That. No, that's my, my favorite, my favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. I just love it because their whole angle was fucked up. But he made Hitler leave in like the third quarter, right? He's putting down his number one finger, just fucking walking out of the stadium. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Their whole thing was like, we are going to create a superior race. It's like, dude, I think we accidentally already did that. <laughs> now we send a select group of people to the gym every day for a couple hundred years. It's paying dividends. They're fucking dunking on us every day. <laughs> Dude, how quiet was that limo ride home with Hitler? You know what I'm saying? You know he was talking crazy shit when they were on the way there. They were all amped up. They're going to dominate, seeing high up just going off. <clears throat> that whole ride home, they're just sitting there all quiet. You're sitting next to one even angrier than usual Adolf Hitler. Um, trying to make I some sort of small that talk that. like him. No, for it is one nice day, isn't it? You know, nice boot. <laughs> Hey, you know what I mean? Bill Burr. That was definitely a classic. That might actually be uh, up there as one of my favorite Bill Burr yeah, sets. Really funny, yeah. And because of how much we can relate to a lot of what he's saying. Bill Burr's always talking about black people. Like, he loves us. No, I feel like Bill Burr was black in another life. Low key, yeah. yeah. I feel like, and, and I feel like he's one of the only white comedians as well that really taps into this like black people jokes mm. really well. That I actually bang. That, um, yeah, yeah, and I haven't seen many other comedians do. I, I'm trying to think of someone, and I've read quite a few comedians on my channel. I can't think all of them. I would just go more into like maybe political jokes mm. or yeah. Like I don't really like, see he's them. He's not afraid to really just no. He's he's comfortable yeah. there. Even. He's very as comfortable. he should as he should. You know what I'm saying. I was going to say as well, um, he mentioned how um, uh, that team that was losing a couple of games and he was like giving them a pep talk or the coach was trying to give their team a pep talk and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it just made me think back to, um, there were certain times because my football team was very diverse. We had men from all over. But then when we, like there were certain teams when we'd come up against that were like all black teams. And I'm telling you that the pep talks were a lot different. The pep talks were From like... your manager. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, because we, we, we kind of all low-key knew it. And I think, um, I think, don't know, I Different think, how? Okay, so for one, I think everyone who does some level of, of like athletics, of team sport, like, or maybe not even, maybe just solo sports where you can, that are physically based, you can kind of, it's, I don't know, I feel like there's, it's slightly different when you're up against a black person. Maybe it's just yeah, me, maybe. but when we had came up as a black team, we were a lot more like, okay, like, we used to be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're going to be fast, so we need to switch, make sure we got the fastest wingers yeah. on the road. <laughs> We and every prepared. time we were prepared. Whole different strategies right. in the new team. Right, but wherever... Everything you did last game, right. throw it Forget out. Forget that, yeah. This is going to be purely based on athleticism, yeah. We need them fast. We need our fastest man in the... They're putting a the striker in defence <laughs> who's fast on the... They're putting the wingers at, at, at left back. And you're thinking, what's going on here? Because yeah. he's playing a black team. Um, and then not only that, it was kind of like... You have to prepare accordingly. Right. But then when we play against white teams, it was like, all right, go ahead, get on that pitch. Show them what you're <laughs> Show them what you're Show made them on, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, do not exploit that. <laughs> I'm just like... I'm like, yeah, I mean, say what you really want to tell because he's always seen someone. Junior, you know the ginger one. You know, that, you know that ginger boy. You know you got him. Uh, so even, even in the dynamics between, like, I guess when I, I was coming against a white person, like, I think... You, it's like you knew and I knew 
<laughs> we both knew what was going on you here. know what's about to happen i just gave you that look and he yeah. was like yep i know what's about yeah. to happen you go see me run on man <laughs> Yeah. He's like, so he just wanna, it's a lot of the times like, yeah. yeah. I ain't bothered. Yeah. I doubt it was that explicit, but nah, I get what nah, you're nah, saying. Yeah, it was, I get what you're it was saying. definitely undertones. I might be yeah. exaggerating a little bit, but yeah. there was definitely undertones of that. The mood shifts when you see yeah. that team. Yeah. You're like, hello. Right. Hello, right. Big John. <laughs> right. You start puffing the chest out a bit more. And go, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but even right. I remember when I used to go watch with my mom, I used to go watch their games and stuff. I remember they were, like this black team they all looked very grown like right oh, oh my <laughs> days all the man. black guys i was like are you sure you're not like yo loki we found out though because this was this is during sunday league times like this we found out yeah. that them man were fully cheating though what do you mean they were fully got actual grown men to oh, play okay. for them they were cheating <laughs> that that makes the, sense. the black team finessed their yeah. way into that league but how? Oh my days! That's I mean, not, not even though. though it seems stereotypical, but even a, again, like obviously. Um, but even if they like, I'm sure some of them were actually you guys. Some of them, I yeah. Some be of able them. To tell. Some of them. I just know that they they must have recruited some people because that seemed like even if they fit the stereotype quite well. I mean, they yeah. were just like like ghetto a ghetto black team yeah, none of them ha actually angry. had their cards sorted out yeah. some man was 22 under under 16s and we're thinking uh, uh first of all big grown man bro yeah. this guy look like he's he's doing a, a nine to five every yeah, day of the no. week and he's coming on sundays to try and play but like <laughs> nah. yeah, yeah. yeah 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 that was Kick rocks. crazy but nah man i mean is there any better than that we're just curious not really they're not many black oh like i'd have there are not really that many all black teams. A lot right. Of the but then in the World Cup when we had Jamaica, oh. it's kind of like you see it there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I remember Jamaica. watching. Um, but even like, I remember like, there's this one team that I was at before. It was all black people. I remember how people would talk about them and it, like the words aggressive were always <laughs> mentioned. They were like, they're so aggressive. Right. Like, that one girl, she's so aggressive. She got attitude. Like, <laughs> whenever they would talk about that specific team that I used to be a part of when I. Because I've moved around teams, so I know what people say about different teams. And whenever right. they talk about a specific team, it would always be aggressive. Like, right. they're very, like, the, one of them has attitude. Like, people just have very negative connotations. And then even I remember on one of the press interviews, it must have been an England, like, player said, you know, when we come against Jamaica, it's very, like, <laughs> like aggressive and right. fiery. Something along those lines. Right, was that right. What's like, she trying to say? What's she trying to say right now? Man? They're black? Because you're black. Tell me they're black without telling me they're black. You say it. Right. Say it. So, yeah, there's a lot of truth to it. And even that's why, you know, Bill Burr's yeah. spitting facts. And there's so much truth to what he said. And even being athletes, you can relate to it, even mm. on a more personal level. And let, let us know if you guys, any of you guys are, did any sort of sports or you're part of some sort of yeah. athletic team. Comment down below. If you experienced anything similar. Like maybe, you know, if you can, maybe we're the only ones, you know. Um, I doubt it. Right. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Thank um, you guys for watching. Guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace.